Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and I will be doing a tarot reading for Cancer. What do you need to know for the Cancer Collective? This is just going to be a general reading, so whatever comes up, comes up. It's going to be what it is. Mind your P's and Q's. If you catch my vibe, please subscribe, like, share, comment, do your thing. So what's going on with the Cancer Collective? today uh, what is it what is it what's going on with these crabby crabs all right Starting off for pretty jeez. Who are you fighting with? Wow. You are fighting with someone and um you also want a new beginning with them, which is kind of interesting. But you're over here fighting with yourself about fighting with them, which is also interesting to me. Um, sorry, my watch was not doing what I wanted it to do. Now let's get some of them. Because uh, right now, what it looks like is you are having a lot of internal conflict with yourself about another human being. And honey, this conflict is eating you up inside. It's even causing you to postpone your abundance because you are literally fighting with yourself like your higher self is fighting with your ego it's it's an interesting process that you're going through so what are you fighting with yourself about what's this five of swords here for who why are you fighting why are you fighting Oh, ooh, okay. You're fighting with your higher self because of a loss. You're fighting with your higher self and your ego self because you've suffered a loss and you are trying to figure out if you should move forward with a goal in your life so you are fighting like tooth and nail with your higher self and you need to take a step back and breathe man this is not why is the king of coins here what why is the king of coins here why 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 we got this king of coins king of coins listen you don't need to fight so hard for the things that you want like you really don't it's not necessary to fight so freaking hard yeah yeah exactly what am i saying it's not necessary for you to fight so hard and you recently have come to this conclusion as well you're you were down here fighting so hard for whatever it was that you decided it wasn't 
you shouldn't have to fight that hard, especially for something that you love. Why is the Eight of Coins here? What is going on with you? Eight of Coins. Alright. Oh my gosh, you're currently making a decision about a snake charmer. He is so charming, this person, because it says, I'm going to assume it's a masculine energy because it's the father of wands. You're making a decision about a very charming man in your life that is going to lead to the world. This decision is going to lead to you essentially being given the world by this charming man. So it could be, this could be a career move that you've been fighting with yourself about. Cancer, white. King of Wands. See, you got the King of Wands twice. So this person is prominent. Yeah, this person is prominent. What is he doing here? when I do that sorry oh you you gotta take a leap of faith and step into the full energy because this king of wands father of wands that is coming into your life is for a love purpose because we got the lovers right here and the fool and the way I see it is to be the fool in love is to take a leap of faith. And even though you may not know how this other person feels, you want to explore this adventure with this King of Wands because it seems to be a soul bond. This is a soul bond, like soulmates, twin flames, whatever you believe in. It's a soul bond. And they're coming for you once you make this decision that it's not worth fighting. All right. Oh. You've got a lot of masculine energy. Yeah. You've got a lot a lot of masculine energy surrounding you. Maybe you just decided to step on the dating scene. Um, Cause I mean, take it for what it is. We all have masculine and feminine qualities in ourselves. So for me to say you have a lot of masculine energy surrounding you, it's just basically there is a lot of of the male dominated energy surrounding you it doesn't have to be an actual like man or male person it is just the energy that comes from these people is more masculine to me Okay, listen. What's crossing you is taking action. Taking action towards this person so you can have the sun and the stars and, and everything. Everything you want is coming when this person arrives. So... When this person enters your life, you'll know. You'll know. It's like, what's that song? I hear symphonies in my head. I think it's a, I think that's a Bruno Mars song. I love Bruno Mars. I really, really do. He's like, oh, I'm so low. I hope you guys can hear me because there is currently a fan in the back of the, um. 
I have to have the, the it's not even a fan, it's, it's a heater, sorry. Yeah, sorry, it's not a fan, it's a heater. And I'm, my room is so cold compared to the rest of the house, so I have to have a space heater in it, or else I will freeze to death. Right, what's going on with this queen of wands? Because we got the, the king of wands. And now we've got his counterpart, the Queen of Wands, which is the energy that you are currently in. All right? So. Oh, yeah. See? You. You are calling in a new beginning. I have gotten... I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You're calling it to you. Maybe you're manifesting this person currently. Like you're calling them with your soul into your life. You are manifesting this person into your life. Like I said, well, it's a soul bond. So if you are ready for this person to enter your life, they're going to enter your life. It, it's the divine's timing, not yours. Yep. What did I say? What did I say? In the outside world, you are still waiting to make a decision to bring in your abundance, your wheel of fortune, to bring in peace and happiness and, and prosperity and joy and but you're postponing this, you're postponing it because you don't feel worthy. Which is Bull crapola. You're worthy. And I'm here to tell you, you're freaking worthy. Oh, yeah. You're afraid. You're afraid of abandonment. I know that fear. You're afraid of abandonment. You're afraid that this person will be like your emperor. They'll come in. They'll be like your knight in shining armor. And then they're going to leave you. So you're not actively looking for this love that's coming in when it comes because you just don't, you don't feel the urge to look for it because you're afraid it's going to leave you once you find it. So what's the point of looking for something that you're afraid is going to just up and leave I understand it. It's probably trauma causing you to feel like you're not worthy. Like this person or thing or career will abandon you. But if you keep doing that, if you keep doing this and you don't take action, because if you currently keep on the path that you are currently going on, because what's trying to get to you can't get to you if you don't take necessary action steps to manifest it into your reality. It's one thing to keep thinking it and thinking it and thinking it or writing it on a piece of paper. That puts a certain energy out there, but usually it's the energy of, I want this. I lack having this, so therefore I want this. And the universe is going to give you more of, I lack having this, I want this energy. So yeah, sure, you can write it down on a piece of paper, get it clear in your head, but you have to take action steps towards making it happen. If you want love in your life, you have to call that love to you by essentially being the love that you want for yourself. And that in itself will call that love to you. 
but seriously. All right, so I'm gonna close this. Take action, take action, take action. Stop stalling, stop meandering around, stop thinking the universe is just gonna magically put shit in front of you, because it does. But at the same time, something this big, you got to take a couple of steps in the direction of it. Like, you've got to start loving yourself. You've got to trust yourself. You've got to... You've got to be your person for yourself or else your person's never going to find you. And that sounds so mean and cruel, but the universe is telling you, take action steps towards the manifestation that you are writing, you are dreaming, you are holding in your heart. <coughs> take action steps towards this, towards it, and you will find it. You will have it. Now, to close it out, invite playful energy, of course. Take off some of the pressure with playful energy. Intuition does not thrive in a super stressed or super controlling atmosphere. Release, relax, make room for fun, humor, improvisation, and lighthearted creativity to boost your six sensory powers now. Invite your inner child out to play. Encourage playfulness in others. That's your action step towards bringing in this love. That's your action step towards bringing in this love. That that's your action step towards bringing in this love. And on that note, I hope you might have found some clarity in what is going on in your mind, but I think you may be as confused as I am. And if you are, there will be more readings in the near future. Thank you for sticking around. As always, if you caught my vibe, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and bring it on home for your girl. Love you and peace.